Hello guys, um, today I'm going to talk to you about what happened this week and the condition of kimchi and a little bit how we got kimchi and also what we're going to be doing in, uh, towards the end of the video will be kimchi as well. Uh, kimchi is not, probably won't make it, uh, it will take, probably have a few more days to a week left. He has a chronic kidney disease. It is not 100% um, uh, confirmed, but towards the high 90s uh, for it. He got sick Friday with a cough, so we thought it was a cold. Then Sunday came. He looked very skinny uh, really quick and barely eating and drinking. And then we got very scared, so I called Banfield. Uh, of um, kimchi uh, so drop him off Monday at 7 in the morning so I didn't sleep that whole night that morning took um, kimchi to Banfield at drop him off at 7 and there is an angel right there giving me rub rubs um, so seven, so we were right there for like 7.30 answering questions and then, you know, dropped them off and head back home towards like close to eight, stop at McDonald's, get breakfast. Uh, we thought it's some type of, you know, viral infection or something like that. I was about to head to bed, lay down, and it was close to like 8.30 in the morning. Go and take a nap, you know, wake up in the afternoon at the same time. Yes, I know, Angel. I know you want love too, Angel. I know. I know what's happening. So, got a call from Banfield from the doctor uh, that his blood uh, work is very concerning and is very high uh, off the chart and her machine cannot read it. So, we have to take him to urgent care in um, North Carolina. So, it's like, okay, okay, that's fine. So he's like, it's going to cost $3,500 to $5,000. He is severely dehydrated, and he might need to be hospitalized for several days. I'm like, I don't mind he be hospitalized. I don't mind paying for it. He's my son, and I will, you know, you know take him up there. I'm like making sure that, you know, you know, he will he make it? And they're like, yeah, he should be able to make it. He should make full recovery. So, okay. So I just got to take him straight to urgent care. He will be there uh, at the hospital several days. And he will be 100% back better. What is it, Angel? Uh, all the cats are worried, especially, I. you know, when I'm in the house, everyone's asleep. You know, they all come to me. And she's kneading on my crotch right now. Yes, Angel, I see you. Why are you needing on, on, on mommy's property? So, you know, got up, went straight to Banfield. I just want to pay and get kimchi out and drive straight to Charlotte. Charlotte is 40, 40 minute drive, especially around that time because of traffic. You should take about 30 minutes. So, 40 minutes. Uh, to care, uh, urgent care centers called care for animals and stuff. So it's an actual ER for animals. So it went there, dropped kimchi off, and they said it'll, t it'll take. As I asked them, do I have to drive back? Do you have any way outside? It's like I'll just wait here. We'll examine him right away, and we'll tell you what what options there are for it. Um, so 30 40 minutes you know i'm like my mom is like crying in the back so like, he's good i'm like yes telling her she'll be fine the you know the vets at the banfield said he'll be fine he just need to get some fluids for a few days and he should be bounced right back went back doctor called us went back inside once we went back inside bad news uh, he has some kind of chronic Ill, uh, illness, um, a, a birth defect. So he, she thinks it's a chronic kidney disease. 
So they, they gave me two options. One option is uh, hospitalize him for a few days, get fluids back in him. Uh, the problem is he will not live probably past six months. That's what they told me. So I, I, I'm like, I'm like, I thought that he would be better. I thought oh, he'd probably be, I don't mind being medication for the rest of his life and stuff like that, but for six months, like maybe less, he might die on the table because he has a, a severe heart murmur due to all of this. So if they push in fluids in, he might just die on the table. The second option is euthanasia. So uh, the doctor Banfield won't be euthanizing to him like, I want, I don't mind spending the money because I know a lot of people don't have the money to pay these kind of things, you know. I have the money, I put it on my credit card, I'll pay it off within how many years. You know, that's not a big deal. He's my son. I love him, I took care of him, all that. So my mom crying and, and saying things in Korean, why, how we did not know why this happening to, I mean, Oh, I'm so sorry, Kimchi, that you were like this and all that stuff. So I had to literally spend 30 minutes of her pushing her back in the car. Then Ashley called me a few minutes later because, you know, um, you know, I heard mom said, you were going to euthanize him. Like, I don't know. I really don't. And I'm tearing up because Kimchi's on the, in, in the carry on the floor with, with me. And I'm like, I really don't know. You know, it's like, it sucks because every kind, this kind of life and death situation, you know, they rely on me to make the decision because they don't want to feel bad what they have done. They don't mind pointing at me and I don't mind them doing that, but I told her, I don't know. What do you want me to do? She's like, do what I think is right. I'm like, okay. So I spent time with kimchi in the room. Backing back, walking back and forth out of the room and back in. Uh, waiting for a doctor. You know, it's an ER. So he sees a lot of other animal patients. So I said, okay. So can you guarantee me if I do this procedure with him that, you know, six months or, or, or you know, it's like, I can't guarantee you that. Okay. Is he in pain? No. He's discomfort, probably poking or probing. And, you know, he's very feisty, so I know he's stubborn and he's a fighter, just like me. Uh, so I was like, okay. Um, then I'm like, I'm not going to euthanize him if he's not in pain. Um, if I told, I told him, if I brought him back home, you know, uh, how I'll end up. If he might have a seizure and convulsion, then, I'll, then I'm going to take him straight to the, because we have several vets over here that I'm going to euthanize, put him to sleep. Uh, but, you know, he, he should just, you know, his body would be so tired, he will just fall asleep while his body's shutting down. So he shouldn't be feeling any pain. So, okay. So I asked him put uh, if he can put the IV thing on the back of their neck. And, uh, you know, the fluids, they put, like, fluids in the back of their neck. And there's, like, a like, thick bubble on their skin. Um, so I asked him for that. He said, it won't do much, but, it'll, you know, I want to make him comfortable as much as possible. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm like, so I try to make him as comfortable as possible, you know. I'd rather have him die with us with no pain going on and, and be with his, be with the people that loved him and take care of him, basically. So, so that's what I did. I, I, I got him the IV drip back of his neck and took him home. Um, he's in the bed, so we were like researching how to hydrate cats. So like you put, you get fresh water, a little bit of tuna juice or chicken broth. You know, my mom doing it every hour. He drinks, he drinks, uh, you know, every hour he drinks, drinks and stuff. He can't move, he cannot stand up on his own. So he's peeing on the, uh, the blankets and stuff. So we've been, got the, the, the puppy uh, potty thing underneath the blankets. We have so many blankets and towels, we can replace it. Clean kimchi up, make him as comfortable as possible. Got him some of those kitten uh, wet food. Because it's not, it's trying to get some fat and protein in it as well because it has a lot of calories in it. And that's what he really needs as well. So he eats a little bit of that, 
by mostly drinking a lot of uh, chicken and tuna with water mixed in with it uh, to get electrolyte proteins and enzyme that he needs. So um, that's what's happening right now. And so we're going to be celebrating his birthday early. So he has pretty much a few days to a week. Uh, hopefully um, he'll bounce back and stay with us for a couple more years. But, uh, you know, I am not very hopeful at the same time. I know it's kind of ironic. Um, I'm also kind of be optimistic that I hopefully he will make it. But I'm also making a con contingency plan that he won't make it. So we found a place to cremate his body, get it earned for him. And um, he'll be with his family. And then, um, you know, to the end. How we got kimchi? We got him during the Reading uh, Forest Fire in 2017 or 2018 in California. Um, it was happening. It didn't ask us to leak to to evacuate yet so you know a couple of like a mile down the fire was coming towards us we could smell we could see the 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 the, the air is being red and ashy and smoky outside um and that night ashy t got me out of the garage and uh, t uh told me there's a cat outside staring right at the house i'm like huh yeah there's a cat just literally just staring at the house i'm like okay so me and Ashley went out in the middle of the night, in front of our uh, our driveway. We saw this kitten that's covered in ash. The kitten came to us, meowed. So I'm like, "Do you want to take him in?" She's like, "I don't know. We have two cats." I'm like, "We had 14 before, so we just I just grabbed kimchi, brought him in, gave it a bath, gave it flea treatment, gave it food and water." And it separated from the other cats. That was back then. It was just Tofu and Bimo. Um, then the next day, as you know, while 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 I was doing that, my mom is like, she just literally t like she did with Tofu, took the cat, brought it into her room, closed the door. While we we did it, we did the cleaning and feeding and drinking. Came back, says his name is Kimchi. It's like okay, his name is Kimchi. <laughs> so the next day, I find out if he has a chip, because. We don't know who, we don't know if it feels domesticated if it comes to you or not. It doesn't have a chip. Okay. Then, um, we got him chipped. And then, you know, we got his vac vaccines and everything there as well. You know, we got to come six more months for another vaccine. It's the follow, follow up for, the, for it as well. Then, evacuated from Reading to Sacramento. We we're saying the, uh, the, Double tree. Uh, that's a, one of the hotels that accepts animals. So we had three cats there. Then went back. Then um, three, two, three months later, this lady showed in front of our house, like, oh, that's our cat. I'm like, really? It's like, oh, do you have any proof of that? No, and 30 days ago, he just disappeared. We don't know where he went. I'm like, he was gone. He was here with us for two or three months. So it can't be your cat. Oh, it is our cat. I'm like, well, how the hell did your cat escape? Oh, we had a dog that, you know, just, you know, it's a puppy and a kitten. And you just chased the cat. I'm like, and you just have a kitten run out of the house. A domesticated kitten, scared shitless from a dog, running out of the house. But, oh, you should come back. You need to stop coming. I'm like, you know, he was covered in ash. Do you know? It was all we thought he was dead. So he had no remorse or anything for that. I'm like, you're not getting this animal back. You're not getting this shit. You can do whatever you want. It's already in my name already. He already chipped. I have proof was two, three months ago. You said 30 days. So, uh, so that's what I did. So, well, 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 basically I convert kimchi into a, um, uh, a, uh, my emotional support animal. All my cats are emotional support animals. So kimchi support, an uh, uh, emotional support animals. So, and I, I'm guessing she felt bad. So, I can't, I, you know, I never, never had any more dispute. Then we just moved to, you know, the fire got so bad. The next one's coming up. So, we just moved straight to South Carolina. So, they're all our emotional support animal for me because I'm disabled mentally and physically at the same time. So, 
you know that's how we got kimchi so uh, we are, I am going to be showing you guys kimchi uh, we'll be celebrating his birthday early uh, just in case he doesn't make it to his fifth year and I think it's August or September or you know you know at least we'll have something to remember him with uh, actual film it in with this uh, newly high 4k res uh, camera that I could cherish and see him forever um, but yeah that is what's been happening how I got him and now I'm gonna show you more of kimchi hope you enjoy hello guys day two and it's kimchi so he actually moved a bit, drank a lot of water, very little food, so I think I'll say that it's a little bit of an improvement. Instead of peeing on the on the litter box, he likes to pee on the plant on there, so I'm fine with that, long he's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's, he's just been lying down all day. That's good, be grouchy. Be grouchy and stubborn. And don't leave us. So that, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we'll be celebrating his birthday. Today is actually the first day that we actually met him back in <laughs> four years ago. So it'd be a perfect time to celebrate his BB day. But uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, Oma seems happy about that. But yeah, kimchi. I'm gonna take a picture. So that looks. So, so we are going to celebrate his fifth birthday early. This is the day that we actually met four years ago. So, I think why not? Four, four and a half. Four and a half. He was a six months that time. Mm -hmm. So, Kim Chi, so, not five yet, but soon he'll be actually five. But he'll be five of uh, November 23rd. November 23rd. But yeah, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. He's doing a lot better today, though. That's a good thing, right? Give me a look, like. Why are you doing this to me? I was napping. I was napping. So we got him this for his birthday gift. he had been liking to eat the cat grass. I think he's not in the mood right now for cat grass so much. Just in case. Mm -hmm. He is aggravated. Waiting on Ashley though. Waiting on Ashley. You want some water baby? So we got these uh, bone broths for cats for help with dehydration but It was like actual water instead. No. No? No water? Well, he did drink and eat some today. He able to walk and use the bathroom now. So, we got the senior litter. Uh, it's like $16 for a small box. We got the kitchen kind of, uh, of like, um, um, those litter boxes with kitchen size and stuff. So, you can actually go over without it but he was jumping walking around and so that's a good sign that is a good sign even though he's still pretty weak hopefully hopefully he will you know bounce right back out yeah there he goes drinking some water that's good not much but it's good boy come on say hi uh, ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kimchi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, early happy birthday, Kimchi. So. How do you feel, Kimchi? Give me the look like why? Why have you disturbed me? Just for this shit. 
Save eat, drink, eat the cream, Ashley. You can have the cream. No, he doesn't want it. And I'm going to put him back in his bed. So, uh, but yeah, uh, we'll post him more on the social media and Discord uh, of Kimchi and how he is and stuff like that. But anyhow, guys, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.